Hello, uh, it just so happens I bought a new computer, so uh, I have to do the setup uh, myself for Eclipse and the rest of the uh, the, the software we're going to use this term. So let's walk through it together. I'm, I'm going to record the whole thing and see if I can get through it in one uh, one recording. I already have Eclipse downloaded. All I did was download the 30, excuse me, the 64-bit version of the J2SE Eclipse and started it. I was able to start Eclipse. Uh, it's using it's pointing to the correct configuration, at least Java 1.7. I have Java 1.8 installed. So let's go through it. I uh, started Eclipse. Here it is. Um, I have uh, Sakai opened. These are the things I need to install. That number one was downloading Eclipse. That's done. The next one is, is installing Object Aid. And click that. Go into the HTML. I have a little bit of instructions. So There's a YouTube video. But let's look at that. There we go. That's the update site. I'm going to put on my clipboard, go back over to Eclipse, go to install new software, paste it. I have a space in there I didn't want. There we go. Hit enter. Open this up. Um, you can't download these two because you have to pay for it. I mean, you can if you want, but you're going to pay for it. I just want to install that. Click next. Terrific. Click next. Accept the agreement. Click finish. It may prompt me to restart or warning to saying that... Um, you're downloading software. It's going to restart Eclipse. That's done. Go to the next one. JBoss is the next. This is asking to use Firewall. Terrific. Uh, give it a shot. The reason why that's happening is because it, I now have software and it's, going to, it's checking to see if there's a later uh, version of it. So it has to call out to the internet to see if there's another version of the software. The next one is JBoss. Start Eclipse, go to Help Eclipse Marketplace, search for JBoss. So I'm going to go here, go to Eclipse Marketplace. Oh, uh, it's somewhere right here. The Eclipse Marketplace, there it is. Find JBoss. And I want to look for JBoss. Oh, oops, i got to hit the enter key. There we go. And I'm looking for JBoss Tools, something that says JBoss Tools 4.3. Or better, it might be 4.4 by the time you read this. I'm going to install this guy. Click install. Now that in, this this installation through the marketplace installs a ton of things, and I'm going to say yes to it all. Finish. It's going to install. I'm going to pause the video because I know this does take. A, well, wow, this computer's fast. <laughs> awesome. Um, still, I'm going to pause. I'll be right back. As predicted, it did run a couple seconds, and then it gives me a prompt that says you're installing software that has unsigned content. Hit OK. And it's going to ask me to restart Eclipse. Eclipse is restarted. Close this guy. I'll be ready for Java FX next. Now, a couple people had an issue with Java FX. Uh, Eclipse, JBoss, Anonymous, blah, 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 why not? Close this guy. This JBoss Central, that tells me I have JBoss installed. That's a good thing. All right, so let's go back to um, Java FX. I'm going to grab the update site for Java FX on the clipboard. Go to Help, Install New Software, paste in that link, hit OK. Uh, and I'm going to hopefully just have to install this. So this is where some people have problems. I may have problems too. But let's see. Nope. Going right through. This installation is pretty quick. At least it used to be. I'm going to pause this again. All right, I'm back. Java FX just asked for a restart. I click yes. It's restarting. I'm going to close this, go to my next installation, which is Scene Builder. Okay. This asked me to go here, and I'm just going to go to that link. Here's Scene Builder. 
Now I have executable jar, the installer for Windows OS, uh, Mac OS. I'm using a 64-bit machine, so I'm going to install this guy. Click that for download. It's downloading. It's 41 megs, and it looks like it's going to take a while. Not my fault. It's uh, <laughs> it's wherever we're downloading this from, it takes a while. I'm going to pause while this is downloading. Uh, you know what? I take that back. Let this download and continue. I'm going to move on because uh, I don't need this scene builder to for the other things I need to do. Um, hibernate jars, let's go to that. Open that up. It asked me to go here, which is this site. I'm going to release, or excuse me, download. Let me go back to that. It asked me to, there should be a button, stable, four point something, download the zip file. Create a directory in the same level as the Mars, uh, and so forth and so on. So, it, it's, it just so happens that 4.3 uh, has been uh, changed to 5.01. So we're on 5, since like two months ago when I created these, these docs, we're, we're on a new version of, of Hibernate. I'm going to click the stable version. Redirects me to SourceForge. I'm going to hit start download. And lo and behold, it's downloading another set of files. It's about 89 megs. Again, let that run. So I'm now downloading... Uh, scene Builder and Hibernate at the same time. To install Android, this is done through JBoss. This is how easy this is. Start Eclipse, go to JBoss Central icon, go to Software Update tab, look for Android Development Tools under Movable Development. So I'll go into Eclipse, go into JBoss Central. If you close it, click that little key. Go to Software and Updates, and Android Development Tools is right there. Just click that and say install update. And it's going to go out and figure out what has to be installed for development tools. I click next, click next, accept the license, click finish. It warns me that I'm downloading unsigned software. That's cool. I wouldn't recommend just blindly hitting that OK button, but I know that <laughs> the Android tools are, are safe. They're safe enough. So that's what I needed for the Android development tools. The next one is Spring Framework. And that is done through JBoss as well. So I'm going to... Okay, it asked me the location of the Android SDK has not been set up in the preferences. Okay, so I'm going to say close this for now. And it's looking for the... Uh, it says... Okay, install a new SDK. Okay, Brandon... You guys haven't done... I, I didn't do this with the last time I did an installation. Um, I, frankly, because I already had an Android SDK on my older computer. So I didn't need to download a new version of it. I'm glad we hit this because you're going to hit the same thing. It's asking, do, should I install a new SDK? Terrific. Install the latest version available of the Android APIs. All I have to do is click Next. Click Finish. And it's going to go out, find the Android SDK, download it, and install it. Oh, and thank God they figured this part of it out, because this used to be a real drag. <laughs> Having to go out and find the Android SDK on your own. <sighs> they figured this out, finally, after five years of Android development. All right, let that go. I'm going to go back to the Internet. I've got my Eclipse Hibernate. Excuse me, Hibernate still downloading. Scene Builder still downloading, so that's still going. Okay, so... Android SDK. Once this is done, it's going to restart Eclipse, and then I want to I'm going to go to Spring Framework next. Okay, I'm going to pause this while this is still running. I'll be back. Okay, the Android SDK requires new build tools components to be installed. Please open the SDK Manager and uh, install Android SDK build tools. Cool. So I notice I have my SDK Manager because I have these two new icons up here. That's cool. Now, the SDK Manager is like another <laughs> uh, bit of software that downloads software. It's sort of like, it, it, it's like an installation wizard inside of an installation wizard. Terrific. All I have to do is click Install New Packages, click Accept Licenses, click Install, and it goes out and pulls the new versions of Android SDK. All right, so while that's going, I'm going to go back... Go back over to JBoss. Go back over to Software Update. 
and I'm going to click the spring IDE which is the next bit that I want which is under web development it's under web development but trust me spring IDE we were going to pull that down and install okay Android SDK is running that's going to run for a few this is going to run for a few minutes as well I click next next accept finish Okay, that's running. I'm going to check on my uh, downloads. Scene Builder is taking forever. Hibernate is downloaded. I'm going to show that in folder. I'm going to grab this. And what I said was go over to where Eclipse is installed under, under uh, C, Eclipse, and uh, Mars J2SE. Take that back under Eclipse. I'm going to paste it there, and then I'm going to extract here, and it's going to build me another folder called Hibernate Release Final 5.01 Final. It takes a minute to to extract. So that's extracting. The SDK Manager is running. I'm downloading Scene Builder. We're almost done. All I have to do to finish this is install Scene Builder after this is completed downloading. This is going to install itself. I don't have to do anything else with the, the file manager. It's going to continue. That. I don't, that's going to continue on. Um, one, one last thing I might have to do, I will have to do, is create a new user library for the Hibernate files. All right, it's asking me to restart Eclipse because it's Spring Framework. Eclipse is restarting. Android SDK is running. I'm unzipping Hibernate. This is called multitasking. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is done. This is done. JBoss is done. JavaFX is done. Scene Builder is downloading. Hibernate is just about done. Android is working. Spring Framework is done. I am nearly completed my installation. As soon as this comes up, I'm going to pause for just two seconds. Okay. The hybrid is still unzipping, but it's unzipping the documentation, so this is going to take forever. The libraries that I care about are already done. It's still working on unzipping the documentation that can go on. I need the files that are under required and JPA. What I'm, do, what I'm going to do is open up Eclipse. You know, it's the Spring Framework. The welcome screen changes a bit. I'm going to open up Eclipse. I'm going to go to Windows Preferences. And what I want to do is create a new user library. I'm going to say new user library. I'm going to call it Hibernate. And I'm going to add external jars. I'm going to go right to required all those guys are required I'm going to add external jars again click hibernate add external jars and then I need to have that JPA under JPA the entity manager Eclipse is ready for hibernate hibernate is complete installation is complete spring frameworks complete uh, Android development is done ready to go the only thing I have left is scene builder and all that is is a, is a simple next, next, next install. It should be really easy to use. How do I know I have, I have everything installed? If I go to File New, I'll see under Android Development, I can create an Android project. Under Aspect J, I have an Aspect J that's Spring Framework. Um, here's Hibernate. Here's JavaFX. Every time you install something like a JavaFX plugin or, or Android plugin, you get new choices for new kinds of projects. So I, I can create a new JavaFX. Now, the Scene Builder is a, a designer for FXML documents. So right now, if I wanted to create an FXML document, it's literally XML code. 
the scene builder is a way for the for um, to be able to read an XML 